Hello friends, my name is Radha Masood. Today we shall discuss about the project management approaches as defined in the PMBOK project management body of knowledge or uh, PMP exam preparation guide by Rita Mukhai. Friend, today's topic is very interesting and very important if you are planning to give exam of PMP certificate in near future. So this is a very very important topic and you will see this topic in the exam. So you must have to know, you must have a clarity about this topic if you are planning to give exam of project management, especially PMP exam. So uh, let's uh, start friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that many videos can reach to you. So let's uh, start project management approaches. Uh, first of all, we have to understand that what is project management approach basically friend. Uh, project management approach means the approach which we use to manage a project or to implement a project okay so that is called as the project management approach whenever we are doing something we must have a mindset we must have a approach normally uh, we use some uh, standard approaches for the implementation of a project nowadays as per the PMBOK project management body of knowledge or uh, PMP exam preparation guide by Rita Mukhai as per the latest edition uh, of 2021 uh, remember it is as per the latest edition 2021 we have three main approaches defined for uh, managing the project first one is the predictive predictive is synonym or similar uh, you can say the same name of traditional project management or waterfall approach <coughs> now the same name called as predictive approach second one is agile and the third one is the hybrid approach Okay, these are the three approaches for which are referred in the uh, PMBOK guide project management body of knowledge or project uh, PMP exam preparation by Rita Mukhai. Uh, so now what is predictive? Uh, friend, predictive approach or we can say as a waterfall or uh, the traditional project management approach. It basically focused that all the planning will be done in the uh, basic in the initiation phase in the planning phase <coughs> whenever we are initiating the plan whenever we are initiating a project and all the development done first all the testing done and then deployment done so the predictive approach means that all the things all the planning all the uh, focuses on planning analysis are done at a, a very early stage of a project and uh, this is a sequential approach waterfall is a sequential approach in which we do like uh, the planning development testing and then uh, deployment and we can't go in the previous stage of a project like for example if we have started the user acceptance testing then we can't go back in the development phase we must have to uh, in uh, we must have to proceed further we can't go so it is the same uh, concept of a waterfall like it will go from top to bottom okay top to bottom means it is sequential like we can't go back then a uh, predictive approach also uh, approach don't appreciate any changes and also often buffers are added to the timelines okay and then uh, uh, the other drawback of predictive approach is that we get the feedback of a customer at a very later stage of a project like we get the feedback of a customer in the user acceptance testing phase and if there is anything goes wrong so it becomes a very big issue at that moment because we can't uh, go back to the previous stage okay so uh, whenever we talk about predictive approach of project management basically we are referring to uh, waterfall approach or we are referring to the traditional project management in which it is a uh, uh, we all we do all the planning uh, uh, and analysis in the very early stage of a project and we do the things in a sequential manner like we do planning development testing and then uh, deployment okay so this is the predictive approach of a project management then the next approach is agile approach agile is basically the approach uh, based on the iterative approach iteration means that we do the development in uh, in uh, in a multiple chunks like for example if we have uh, e-commerce solution which we have to implement and we have 40 tasks to develop so what we can do we take the first 10 tasks, the, we do the planning, development, testing and then deployment and then take the next 10 tasks, then next 10, 10 tasks until we reach the last 10 tasks of the e-commerce solution. <coughs> Agile is a very collaborative approach in, we, in which we are highly collaborate with the customer, with the team, 
uh, we are getting the feedback from the customer at a very early stage of a project it is a very responsible uh, it is very uh, responsive and adaptable approach as well like for example is customer uh, requirements are changing so we do the adaptation we adopt our uh, approach as well we adopt ourselves according to the uh, requirement or priorities of the customer so uh, normally we uh, generally we use agile for software development uh, in soft uh, in small projects as well or medium sized projects uh, the agile methodology is a way to manage a project by breaking it up into several phases it involves constant collaboration with stakeholder and continuous improvement at every stage also the uh, collaboration with the team with the project uh, with the customer is very very high in the agile approach then uh, the next approach is called as the hybrid approach hybrid approach basically says that we combine uh, two approaches of project management or more than two approaches for uh, the implementation of a project for example let's suppose you are using waterfall approach or you are using agile six sigma plus two so you can take any two of the two approaches uh, any two or any two of approaches like for example waterfall and agile and uh, combine these two approaches to implement a project so that is called as the hybrid approach if you just see the term hybrid so you can uh, imagine that for example there are uh, nowadays multiple approaches of project management are, are, are available like waterfall agile six sigma prince two and uh, other approaches are there so you can take any of the two approaches adopt these two approaches and uh, combine these two approaches to implement our project so that is the uh, main approach or uh, main concept of a uh, hybrid uh, project management now uh, the question here that how you can do the hybrid project management how you can adopt how you can use so first of all uh, how to blend project management methodologies for hybrid actually so well, first of all choose two methodologies for example you have chosen the waterfall and the uh, other approach is the agile approach okay then identify what you like and don't like about them for example what you like in the waterfall approach uh, like all the planning done at a very early stage you don't like about uh, the waterfall that customer feedback you get it at a very early stage so do uh, likes or don't likes you must have to make a list uh, about the methodologies then discuss how will you uh, use each approach like discuss with your team involve your team get their feedback what they want actually and uh, with their feedback from customer uh, adopt that approaches then regularly re-evaluate and adjust uh, your uh, methodology so see how things are going how things are moving if there is any need to change the thing so you must have to change it accordingly so uh, friend uh, thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks for watching the video thank you friends